What is up guys? Welcome to a little bit of an update video we have for you today. A lot has been going on with me as you guys would probably know if you've been watching my latest videos. Uh, I've been talking about it a little bit. Let's go over some of the basics. First thing is that we finished drafting for the GPC. Uh, by the time you're watching this, the draft video should either be coming out tomorrow. Uh, the draft analysis, of course, should be coming out tomorrow or after tomorrow. So we're done. We're, we're ready to start up Season 6. All the teams are set. Uh, we're just waiting for the green light from Bluesy and the other uh, admins to, to let us go and have our first week match. And uh, yeah, so you're going to have some of that content coming back to the channel. Uh, also, update with the uh, NPL miners. Uh, of course, as you guys know, we were knocked out in the uh, pools round. But uh, there is a very high likelihood that we could be included into the, uh, the miners uh, from here to when it starts of course we'll see what happens with that but that would give us two leaks uh, to uh, be working on essentially and now here's the issue <laughs> is that this is gonna be hell for time management for me um, I may have to drop one of the two uh, it would probably end up being the NPL because the GPC is very near and dear to me uh, a lot of people that I love there and uh, it's, it's essentially become the NBA at this point like Jar is there uh, Rob's just lingering in the chat Jose is there Dom Ethan uh, Johnny everybody <laughs> like almost everybody every one of my friends is there almost uh, but that would be the one that I would have to keep now the reason that I would have to drop one of these two leagues is because well, maybe not. Maybe not because it's a, it's a one-time deal. Uh, well, it's once per week. But basically, something happened in the last couple of weeks. Uh, and there has been an unlisted video on my channel that I was not going to release unless uh, I had a certain outcome from it. And I'm going to show you guys that video. But before I do, uh, I want you to check out the description down below. I implore you, please, please check out the description after this video is done and go and check out Daneki. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. We help each other build uh, from time to time and he helped me out with this video so much. Uh, I really want you guys to go and check out his channel. Go and s check out some of his content. Subscribe if you like it. He's a really chill dude. He's from Norway. You wouldn't be able to tell from his accent, but he's really, really cool. And uh, I ask you guys to please go and check him out. So I'm about to show you this video. It's only about four to five minutes long. So please bear with me. Uh, you, if you enjoy it, let me know uh, as well in the comments. But uh, when we get back from you guys watching the video, uh, I'm going to be explaining what happened. And uh, yeah, so we'll be right back. See you then. What is up, Tom and Lars and all of the GBA? My name is Aster. Lars, you already know me from the GPC. Tom, you nicknamed my Thunderous the other day on Twitter, so I'd like to thank you again for that. But uh, today I'm here to give you the broken mon portion of my application for the GBA as an analyst. And today we're going to be looking at the Pokemon that I feel is the most threatening in League format for Gen 7. And that is my buddy up here, Porygon Z. Now, let's look at Porygon C's stats. It's got 85 HP, 80 attack, 70 defense, 75 special defense, 90 speed, and I saved the best for last. We've got 135 special attack, which ties it in first place with Drampa and Mega Pidgeot for the hardest hitting normal special attacker. So, that's part of what makes it broken. Also, if we look at its move pool, it gets try attack as stab it's boosted by adaptability as well it also gets download but adaptability is slightly better uh thunderbolt ice beam so bolt beam coverage it gets shadow ball dark pulse psychic nasty plot agility w hold up hold up hold up hold up you you guys want to know what makes this thing broken right roll the clips now not every league is going to allow this but the ones that do are quickly going to find out that this is really ban worthy Porygon Z got a new toy in Gen 7, Z Conversion. Not only does it get a plus one in every single one of its stats, barring HP of course, it also gets to change its type to whatever is in the first slot. Could be Psychic, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, anything that you want, anything that we covered earlier. My personal favorite is Psychic because not only is it able to take down standard walls, but even the most specially defensive walls like Chansey due to its access to Psy Shock. Its coverage all around just lets it hit whatever it wants to. You really can't prep for it because you don't know what it's ever going to bring. You can somewhat guess, but even this Alolan Marowak never stood a chance against that Dark Pulse. So, that's just to give you an idea. Even if the League doesn't allow for status Z-moves or Omni-boosting Z-moves or whatever it chooses, Porygon Z still gets access to amazing and powerful coverage. Let's look at Assault Vested Roserade. It's not taking a Sub-Zero Slammer coming off of Blizzard. Yes, Porygon Z gets Blizzard. Spideff, Celesteela, 
Probably not taking a Thunder from Porygon-Z with a little bit of prior damage. That one doesn't have any, but Gigavolt Havoc is going to destroy it. And Rindoberry Gastrodon, specially defensive Rindoberry Gastrodon, is not taking a Bloom Doom coming off of Solar Beam. Now let's rewind to a Z-converted Porygon-Z for a second, because there is something that I didn't really mention and didn't cover yet. Porygon Z gets a plus one in both of its defenses as a result of using Z conversion. This means that from week to week, from match to match, you'll be able to tailor its set to be able to take super effective coverage that it normally otherwise wouldn't be able to, like that Scarf Garchomp's Earthquake onto an electric Porygon Z, and as you'll see in a second, Shadow Ball from a Scarf Gengar onto a Psychic type Porygon Z. Now why do I mention Choice Scarf? Because there aren't too many things that outspeed a plus one speed Porygon Z outside of Choice Scarfers, so keep that in mind when you're trying to revenge a Porygon Z with your Choice Scarfer. And we haven't even covered team support yet, but you can draft members alongside Porygon Z that really help it out. For example, Alolan Ninetales, which is able to get Aurora Veil, set it up for a countless amount of turns, well, eight to be specific, or Dual Screens Klefki, for example, that works too. Anything that makes Porygon Z bulky enough to be able to take a hit and get up its Z conversion before it goes down, or even an, a double dance, nasty plot and agility, that's fine too, that works. I mean, if you're not going to allow for Z status moves or Z omni boosting moves, like I said before, those are also options. So Porygon Z is still a very valuable member. I think it's something not to be slept on in League format, and I think... For, like I said before, for the leagues that are going to allow this thing to use Z conversion, they're quickly going to learn that they should never do that again. So that's been my application video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I really hope you consider me for the GBA. By the way, I have a couple of friends in there, uh, Robin Jar. Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to mention that. Um, I know a couple of people in the GBA already, so that's uh, it's a little foot in the door, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't want them to put in a good word for me or anything. Guys, if you're watching this, just let them decide on their own. I'll leave it up to Tom and Lars. And uh, that's been it, guys. Uh, I'm really, really heavily invested into this. I, You saw how much time that video probably took to put together. And I really want to be part of the analyst crew this season. Uh, it'd mean the world to me, honestly, because I've been watching the GBA since Season 3. Uh, I would even say Season 2. I think I caught a couple of games uh, of that. But that's when it started really taking off. Uh, I was a big Shady fanboy, so... That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed again, and uh, I will catch you guys very, very soon, I hope. Peace. All right, and we are back, and um, so as you guys saw, that was my GBA analyst application uh, for Season 7 of the uh, Global Battle Association, which, uh, as you guys know, was the league that really got me into uh, watching YouTubers like Shady Penguin uh, was a huge inspiration for me. Um, MV is in there, uh, Dan, A Drive. I would have never watched Dan if it wasn't for the GBA and his performance. Uh, Miguel used to be a huge inspiration for me until I found out some stuff. But anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's nor here nor there. And uh, I don't even know if that's the saying. But anyway, the point is, uh, this was a league that got me um, hyped for starting to YouTube. And I always, actually, I'll show you guys right here. This has been stapled to my wall since before I started YouTubing since before my actually I think it might have been just after my first video I wrote down a list of goals you guys can't read them from that far but I'll show you the, the important one in a second and uh, I've crossed out a lot of them uh, one of them that's not crossed out is to look into capture card hardware which I still can't get because it's still sold out and uh, the other one I'll let you guys read right here if it can focus is to figure out how to uh, what is that Enter, yeah, enter the D-League, uh, and it says 1,000 subs minimum. The D-League was the um, the NPL miners of the GBA, essentially, uh, and I thought that that was the only entryway into getting into the GBA and being in contact with all these amazing coaches, amazing analysts, uh, all these people that I looked up to for so long uh, from starting to watch the GBA in Season 3 before they rebooted to Season 4. So... Uh, this was a huge, huge goal of mine from before I even started the channel. I knew where my end goal was, and it was to pierce through to the GBA. Uh, I didn't show that during my interview with them, which I actually got. Um, but the point of the video is, if you guys haven't seen the GBA channel yet, by the time this goes up, their announcement video should also be up. We are officially a GBA analyst, and we will be doing a MVP slash Game of the Week series uh, every single Friday, and I could not be more excited. 
Um, I, this is being recorded way after I got the announcement. I've been in the Discord chat for uh, almost two weeks. No, maybe a little bit less. Maybe about a week and a half now. Uh, and I've seen everybody there. Uh, almost everybody has been active in the chat. It's really cool to see everybody there. Like, I've talked to MV. I've talked to people that I've watched for almost two years now. And it's kind of surreal. Uh, and I have a huge, huge thank you to give out to... Uh, I didn't mention them in the video that you guys just saw, but Rob and Jar, uh, you guys essentially gave me a, a way in uh, from just being present there and being a, a reference uh, for me. And I know that a lot of hard work, hard work went into that video. Uh, I think I'm a good speaker. I've gotten com com comments from a bunch of people about uh, my videos and uh, that they really like the way that I speak, like even, even Chimpact. Has to, Chimpact guys has told me uh, you the, your dialect and your uh, the way you speak in your videos is really good and I was like wow that's that's amazing this is coming from yet another person that's in the Hita Fajita crew which is Joey and MV Blunder all these people uh, that I have been watching for so so long uh, and it's all becoming a reality now and it's no longer a far away distant land uh, and I, this was one of the very first um, update videos that I made was I said that I wanted to be in the GBA and that I would try everything in my power uh, to get me one step closer every time to the GBA. It started with the NBA, then the GPC, uh, the NPL, and now we're finally here. And uh, my next step is to get good enough <laughs> at league play. I think I've already excelled uh, immensely. Despite my record in the NPL minors, I just have to improve a little bit on my record and my skills and uh, get better at prep and once I'm there uh, and once I have enough support from all of you guys I want to be a coach as well that is my end goal is to be a coach in the GBA and if I can make that happen by next season that would be amazing so I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody that has helped me along the way everybody from the UPA from the NBA you guys know who you are Jar, you're the person that started this all uh, that got me into the NBA and got me to meet all these fantastic people. Honestly, our squad of people, like, I couldn't have asked for a better group of friends. Uh, everybody, I love everybody in there. Uh, Colton, Eric, Jose, Ethan, Johnny. I'm not going to list everybody off again, but you guys know who you are. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, everybody from the NPL, from the GPC. Uh, the GPC that took me in with open arms when Rob uh, needed a replacement coach for the Austin Toros. And... I've been in there and I, I was given the chance to stay and I'm definitely staying like this is this is f phenomenal honestly this community is fantastic and this brings me to my last point in the update video there is something huge coming guys there is something very very big coming for Pokemon and for us as a community most of the people that watch my videos you guys know who you are um, are draft league players and there is something very, very big that myself and a few other people are working on at the moment. Um, there's the, there's this one project, then there's this even bigger side project, which I hope will end up being even bigger and be having a bigger impact on the community uh, in general. And I'm seeing as I um, get to know more and more people in this community that a lot of people share common common interests and. Uh, well, not just with Pokemon, with a lot of things, can, can communicate with each other. And it's very rare that compared to Smogon uh, and Sh Pokemon Showdown, that you have toxicity in our community. And that is something that I want to exploit. I want to take advantage of the fact that people get a chance to communicate with each other before they actually play each other in a game. Uh, and they're constantly around each other. And you very rarely have ten people going into fits of rage uh, it happens very very rarely thankfully in our community and I want to exploit that and I think uh, the, f the few other people that I'm working on this project with um, do as well we want to take advantage of that so uh, I only have you guys to thank for your r kindness for uh, your love on my videos for your love uh, toward everybody else in this community as well uh, you guys are amazing and I couldn't have gotten here without you we're a GBA analyst, man. <laughs> this is... Uh, I'm making this update video on Saturday. It was initially supposed to come out on Friday, actually, but everything got pushed back. 
Um, and if you're watching this on Monday or on Tuesday, uh, then you know that this has been a few days now. But um, this just—it's—it's it's still surreal to me that I'm—I'm I'm there. I'm—I'm uh, I'm finally where I want to be. Uh, and it only took about 10 months, which is crazy. That's that's so much progress in 10 months. Um, honestly, like you have people like Mega Mogwai, for example. I watched their channel, and in one year they went from zero to 10,000 subs. And I was like, oh, that's the kind of growth I need to experience. But no, that's that's not what I need. I just need um, to to constantly put myself out there. And however many people subscribe a day or even a week, who cares if it's not every day? That's that's fine. You know what? As as long as the number is going up and more and more people get to see my stuff and enjoy my stuff and really uh, like appreciate the kind of content that I'm putting out, that's that's enough for me. And I'm really glad that you guys are all all in this with me. And like I said, we're we're finally here. We did it. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying not to be too loud either because it's really late. But otherwise, I'd be pretty much m much more expressive than this. But just know that I'm extremely happy, and this is. This has made, I don't want to be corny, but this has made a dream come true, essentially. And again, thank you all so, so much. Uh, if you did enjoy, uh, whether it be the analyst application video that you guys saw earlier or my little rant about loving this community and loving you guys, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you're new to this channel and this is your first time checking us out, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy this. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Ciao.